What's up guys, welcome back to another That Golf Grind video. And based on the title of this video, I'm gonna teach you how to hit it over 300 yards. All right, maybe not every single one of you is gonna hit it over 300 yards, but if you watch this entire video, you're definitely gonna hit it further than you did before. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like on this video, leave a comment of something you wanna see next on the channel, and there's a ton of more posts coming out here at the range, gonna be some on-course stuff, a ton of stuff to help you improve your golf game. If you wanna absolutely bomb your driver, but still hit it straight, it all starts with the setup. So when we set up to the ball, you know, rule of thumb is keep that ball teed up, maybe a half to three quarters of the ball above the driver. Take a setup, set up to the ball. I like my ball position to be just off my front left heel here. Wider base, make sure our shoulders are nice and squared. And what you wanna do, angle your shoulders slightly back, right? This is gonna help us hit up on the ball, which I'll talk about later. What a lot of people don't realize is that if you wanna generate power with your golf swing, you need to use your legs, right? So like I said, wide base, we're set up nice and good, shoulders angled up. We take the club back, we wanna feel like there's a weight shift under our back leg. We wanna feel like we're almost shifting our power to our back leg, so we're nice, we feel loaded up here, right? And then when we're coming down through the ball, we need to push off the ground while rotating, right? Push off the ground, forward to our front leg, help generate that power and speed through the ball. I see a lot of people just go up to the ball, swing with their arms, you know, it, it might go straight, but they want to squeeze out a few more yards. You have to use your lower body. You're missing out on a ton of extra yards off the tee if you don't use your legs. I mentioned it just before, but if we want to hit this driver far and straight, you have to get the ball up in there. So in order to do that, we have to hit up on the ball. A great drill to practice hitting up on the ball is take your driver head cover or another head cover you have in your bag, place it, I would say a foot and a half in front of the ball. Now when we set up to the ball and make our swing, need to come through the ball without our club head knocking into this head cover because when you're hitting an iron you're trying to compress the ball through the ground keep that angled nice and shallow but with our driver it's kind of the opposite we want to try to hit up on the ball to get that ball up in the air if you do it right you have the head cover in front of you make sure your club isn't hitting it and the ball's not hitting it make sure you're hitting up on the ball Here's probably the most important thing you need to remember if you wanna hit the ball a little further. So implementing everything that I mentioned before, now we're gonna talk about our tempo. People think that if you wanna hit the ball a lot further, you need to swing out of your shoes, but what that comes is crazy inaccuracy. You're gonna spray the ball everywhere, and more likely than not, you're not gonna make good contact with the ball, so it's not gonna even go that far. So you really need to make sure you're dialing your tempo. What I like to do for this is almost take a couple practice swings at almost 50%, just kind of slow down everything in my swing. Really make sure I have a backswing with purpose and I'm coming through the ball nice and easy, almost like you're hitting a little chip shot with your driver. This really, really helps. So now when you step up and hit your actual shot, your tempo is gonna be nice and smooth and you're gonna make good contact with the ball. All right guys, that was a few things you could do to help you hit the ball a little bit further. But remember, if you're just starting out with golf, if you're struggling with your swing right now, you're not just gonna go out there and start bombing it 350 yards down the fairway. It takes time and practice. So make sure you set aside time to go to the range, work on your swing, work on the couple things that I just showed you, and through time, you actually start hitting the ball a little bit further. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. A ton more videos coming down the line. Leave a like, leave a comment of a future video you wanna see on the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.